I am now more convinced than ever that if your mindset is to achieve a record of true zero injuries, that you will have to abandon your focus on the absence of injuries as a way of measuring your mindset safety success. Several years ago, there was a mindset in the Western United States that had gone three plus years without a lost time accident. They had a great injury rate, were seen in the mining community as a safe operation, and were even embraced in the community in which they operated as a great place to work. They mined at about 6,500 feet on the side of a mountain, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. On one night shift in the wintertime, a snowstorm had set in. And it was creating a visibility problem as the snow fell and the wind blew and the snow was lit up by the light plants that typically improve visibility. What's worse is that when the snow started interacting with the dirt on the haul roads, it became a slippery, muddy mess. That night, there was a fully loaded haul truck that was coming down a ramp that was on a pretty good grade. This ramp was as steep as any of those that I've seen in my career. As he was coming down the ramp, he was approaching a turn that he had to make, and guess what? Gravity took over, and the truck started to slide. Try as he may to try to make that turn, he had too much momentum and slammed into the side of the berm, and the truck went up and over and fell on its top 50 feet below. The driver was injured, but wasn't killed because he took the precaution to use his seatbelt as a way of protecting himself. The truck was totaled, and the mine site had to shut down that part of the operation for quite some time for the proper investigations to occur in order to understand what had happened. It was some time after that I was asked to help this mine site to implement what is typically called a behavior-based safety process. And part of that process involves getting to know and understand the work culture, the formal rules, regulations, and policies, and also the informal, the attitudes, the thinking, the belief systems that can impact behavior. In order for me to understand this work culture, I've assembled a group of employees that were representative of the mine site. This included management, supervision, and frontline workers. As we were having our conversation, this incident came up. And I was asked to help them to understand how a mine site that had gone more than three years without a lost time accident, how a mine site that had safety clearly expressed in its values, its vision, and its mission could almost kill someone that night. So I asked a question of the superintendent of mine operations, the person that oversees that department. 